Now that you've seen the upside of sniffing as an enumeration, data gathering, and data completion technique, I think it's interesting to take a look at it as an attack technique. And what that means is is moving from a passive analysis or passive capture to an active role and actually taking packets off the network, modifying them sometimes or sometimes just taking them just the way you found them and playing them back to the network. Actually, very much like hitting a, a record button on a tape recorder, letting it record for a while, then rewinding and hitting play. It's not very different. Sometimes we alter the data. Sometimes we don't alter the data. Some really common network replay attacks, certainly the denial of service one is the one that usually comes up first as the easiest to expect, which is I'm just going to grab a bunch of packets off the network, which are going to have legitimate source addresses, destination addresses, MAC addresses, and so forth. And I'm going to go ahead and play them back. I'm just going to loop a playback, play, 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 and maybe play them from a bunch of different locations. Perhaps, for example, in this in this list, I'm going to play back and back and back again DHCP requests so that I can actually exhaust the DHCP address supply. Or I'm going to play back ARP broadcasts so that I can actually start to mess with the folks that are or the network connections that are on the network legitimately by showing, hey, there's a conflict of IP address or or MAC address. Uh, there's all kinds of fun things we can do with these kinds of network replay attacks. One that's less frequently thought of is this one about covering your tracks. So if I'm actually causing havoc on one segment of a network, let's say I do some sniffing for a while, I take the packets, I alter them a little bit, or I just leave them alone, and then I connect back to the network and actually start playing them in a continuous loop, well, network administrators are going to go berserk. They're going to figure out there's some major, major, major problem on this segment or in this area of the network. They're going to start running and screaming and yelling, looking for the source of that problem. They're probably not thinking it's an attack. They're probably thinking it is a misconfigured network card or a misbehaving Windows client or some type of intermediate device that's gone haywire, not that it's an attacker. So while they're looking for the source of this issue, if we've hidden the source even just a little bit, we may be able to conduct a more active attack at the same time within all of that noise and actually use this type of attack to cover our tracks. So network replay doesn't just have to be about destroying the network by broadcasting a lot of packets or confusing DHCP servers or DNS servers, it can actually also just be about making a bunch of noise. That's a great thing to remember when we're actually using this attack. And finally, I wanted to show you actually how network capture playback works. So for the replay attack, I've come back over here to Wireshark. And in Wireshark, I've filtered it such that I'm only looking at network traffic that was originated with the Lucy host, the host that we identified earlier in the previous example. And you notice here, packet number 652 is actually a SYN. It's the initial part of a three-way handshake, a three-way TCP handshake. And I've decided that that's the packet that I would really like to just play over and over and over again on the network. Whatever it is, it depends on the type of attack I'm committing. In this case, I just want to play that packet over and over again. So what I do is I actually do a save as, just the one packet, and give it a name, like mic attack. Save that out to the desktop, throw that out to the desktop. So now I've got that packet on the desktop, one packet in the file. And I'm going to use a different tool to play it back. I'm actually going to use this tool here, a Colasoft Packet Builder. I'm going to minimize Wireshark so we're not taking a look at it. And Colasoft Packet Builder, its whole job in life really is to let you alter packets and then play them back on the network. So we're going to import from the desktop the mic attack. It comes right on up. I see what that packet is. I see where it's coming from, going to, and so forth. And then I tell it to send that packet an infinite number of times, zero, to whatever network connection I've already selected that. Click Start, 
and then it's send, 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 send. I can change the delay here for as much as I want or just have it go continuous. So that is actually all it takes to mount a replay attack in Windows just using readily available tools like Colasoft Packet Builder to replay and Wireshark to capture and then export the ones that I want.